All right, y'all ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready for you to heat that pie up. That's what I was getting ready to do. There you go. <laughs> Well, you know, all of these guys competed before. Okay. And they're all uh, master distillers. So all three of these guys bring a lot to the table in flavors. They do. Okay, Mina, what are you making? I have a southern liqueur flavoring. So I'm using nutmeg and clove and allspice. I was inspired by whiskey liqueurs. It's something that I've been really wanting to work with. I wanted to make something subtle. The apricots complemented the spices, and I had the sorghum instead of cane sugar. Mean, is this something you've done before? Are you shooting from the hip? I'm shooting from the hip. That a girl. I like it when that works under pressure. Guys, you got five minutes. Time's a drawing nigh to you. Mina, I thought I saw what was a look of bewilderment on your face just then. I was reflecting on regret that I didn't grab orange. I feel like this could really use orange, but I guess I'm going to move forward and deal with what I got. Do not worry about what you don't have. That looks pretty over there. I know, right? I hope it tastes good, though. These guys in here tell you the truth. We hurt you feelings, even if it hurts your feelings. Minute and a half, boys and girls. No. <laughs> Get this a little bit harder. I've changed some stuff last minute on to get a little bit of different flavor, and I put some dark brown sugar. Much better. Hoping I'll do everybody else, but we'll see. 30 seconds, guys. Two All right, brother, if that's the one, we'll deliberate a little bit, and we'll come get you. Good luck. Thank you. And here comes the hillbilly. Uh oh Go right ahead. Look at here. Just in case y'all need a little encouragement. Uh, <laughs> Thank y'all. Good right, luck, both of you guys. going to be really He finally got it warm. Ain't no way of telling the bead at this point. So let's just get to taste and get this over with. Well, let's try this one right here. Dustin. He's got a few things floating in there. I guess that's for flavor. Biggest flavor I've seen him put in there is sweet. I think he's going for apple pie. Oh, and Pam, you get the first shot. I'm smelling honey. Mm -hmm. I smell honey. It tastes good. I feel a little bit of burn, just a little. Taste liquor in it, taste alcohol, it'd get you to that point. He said he was going to make apple pie, and he brought apple pie. It's about as sweet as I thought it'd be, but there's just enough liquor in there to balance that sweet out. Apple pies usually are not over 50 proof. No. That's a, that's a good drink. That's a real this good drink. This tastes real good. We're all masters at our own craft. Everybody does something different. Whether you win or lose down here, you still pick up something to take back with you. Richard, Richard. Looks like a lava lamp. Hey, he was going to make us something with that tomato. This is going to be really different. I'm smelling cucumber. Well, he got some of that pepper in there. It's not bad. It's just extremely different. The only thing it's missing is celery. If he'd had a couple more ingredients and tweaked it just a little bit, he'd have been spot on with him, Pam. A little bit more major, and I think he'd have really been on point. I'm like you, Digger, a little more tomato. But I'm going to say he's still 90, 95. Still high. It's high. Yeah, he's still got yeah. plenty of liquor in it. We know what it's like to sit right here. Mm -hmm. But it's a little different when you turn it in something that this, this was their teacher. We just gave three jars of liquor to three people that actually know what his liquor tastes like. That's more than precious, son. Huh? Yep. Let's move on. Nina. Well, she's got a bead laying up there and ain't going away. Ooh, wee, that's right in the middle, ain't it? She is a botanical expert. Botanist. All right. Well, this is going to be the surprise. It was very obvious she was out of time before she was through. It's got some kind of root floating in there. I think she put ginger in it. It smells good. Now, that's out of the box. Go easy on that there, Mom. It's got some octane. <laughs> and a burn. <laughs> a little bit of burn. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's got the alcohol. Look at them legs sure. on that thing. That's good. She just raised the bar to another level. Mm -hmm. She understands flavors. She understands what goes together and what don't go together. I feel really good about my run. How do you guys feel? We're about to find out in a second. <laughs> and I slipped them a few dollars, so that might help me out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the old man would be thinking about this right now? Well, now, if he was here, I'm sure he would be impressed with everybody 
for what they brought to the table and their enthusiasm of making this liquor. And I think he'd be proud of all of them. Well, are we set where we're at? Yeah, I'm good. You got to go get them. I'd like to welcome y'all back. You showed us that you could be a true moonshiner. You have that bond, and you made that friendship. All of you did exceptional well. What would really made popcorn proud was the job Yuns did on the corn liquor itself. But the fact that Yuns did your version of his recipe, he would have been tickled to death. Popcorn would be proud of all of you. It's an honor for us to hear that, yes. All right, guys, we reached a decision. Nina, plenty of alcohol. You can probably tell by every one of her eyes. It was good drink, flavorful. Maybe lighting up on one or the other where the flavors would layer instead of bam. I mean, they just hit you all at once. To me, it had just a little bit too much alcohol, but it was great. And I think that apricot, as they say, us off the chain. Thank you. Dustin, you hit that apple, you knocked it out of the park. I reckon it was that little bit of the shaking you were doing with some high proof liquor, trying to pull some of that apple flavor out. It, it brought it to the ball game. As far as it's like an apple pie type yes. drink, your proof was spot on. I figure you. you're about 50%. You. Dustin, like Digger said, yours was spot on. I'm not even an apple yeah. fan, but I liked it. Dustin, honey crisp, top shelf. That drink is good over ice. It's good warm in a coffee cup. Thank you very much. Now, Richard, man, I'm a Bloody Mary man. If you'd had a little more mater to work with and maybe some celery salt, you'd have been spot on. Richard, I agree with what Digger said. If you'd have put a little jalapeno pepper in it, that would have that made it perfect. But it tasted great. I know where you was going with it, and I think you're right on that money, especially with the alcohol proof. Richard, this is the first moonshine that I've ever drank that was supposed to taste like a Bloody Mary. You're the man. Thank you. Well, guys, you've heard all the chatter from this side. But without holding anything else up, Pam's going to present the prize to Mina. Great job. Good job. Yes, Mina. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I'm so Mina. honored, Pam. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I am a nerd and have a large library of books, so to have that one that has had Popcorn Sutton's hand on it and his spirit in the writings is just a, an amazing gift. Don't get no liquor on that book, though. So and, place them on. And, and you know what you really need to do? Miss Pam certainly needs to sign it for yes. you. Yes, I would like everyone to sign it.